Your fifth speaker, Eric Price. Happiness, the recipe. Happiness, the recipe, Eric Price.
He said, it's okay, sugar. I don't want to take you out of your way. I said, Ms. Williams, please, I really want to talk to you. I don't mind. He said, okay, baby. So I hopped out and I helped Ms. Williams into the car and we proceeded. And I, well, I quickly began to explain to her my dilemma of how I looked for happiness and how I bought the car and I had bought the house. And Ms. Williams put her hands up and she smiled at me. And she said, baby, you can't buy happiness, but I'm going to give you a recipe. And at that moment, it was like the world stopped. And it was Miss Williams' voice in my ears. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, I'm going to give you the recipe just like Miss Williams gave it to me. She said, baby, sugar, if you want happiness, you need to take one cup of gratitude. But it can't be any gratitude. It has to be gratitude from the tree of humbleness. You mix that with one-third cup of altruism. You combine that with half a cup of concern. Now, baby, you take those three ingredients and you mix it with half a stick of love. You stir it up real good, and you put that out in your corner of the world. And happiness will find you. She said, baby, you can't capture happiness. Happiness has to capture you. It soon occurred to me that everything that Miss Williams had told me had to do with me giving. And it was one of the most freeing recipes because it told me that I didn't have to win the lottery. I didn't have to move to an exotic island, nor did I have to tan. <laughs> I didn't have to marry a supermodel wife. I didn't have to buy a mansion. I didn't have to have a certain amount of kids. It told me that all I had to do was to create enough happiness in the world and in turn, I would receive it. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, my hope is, is that when we all leave today, we can take that gratitude from the tree of humbleness and mix it with that correct amount of love and that correct amount of altruism and that correct amount of concern so that happiness can capture all of us. God just